Hi, and welcome to another episode of Then We Eat. If this is your first time being here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a regular, thanks for joining us again. On this week's episode, we'll be making chocolate peanut butter pie. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to grind up 36 Oreo cookies. That worked out to a family size bag of cookies. You want to get them as small as you'd like. If you like bigger chunks in your crust, then by all means, keep the chunks a little bit bigger. If you like it really fine, then keep grinding until it's all fine. And for this recipe, we're using the whole cookie, not just the outside. So let's start grinding up some cookies. Okay, so that's the, that's the grind that I'm happy with. So that's what I'm going to use. So it's gonna take me a few minutes to grind up all these cookies in this little food processor. We'll be back when they're all ground up. Okay, so I've got all my Oreo cookies all chopped up. Now we're going to add eight tablespoons of melted butter. Now we're just gonna give that a mix and press it into the bottom of our springform pan. You wanna make sure you get that butter all incorporated. When you're all done, it should look like wet sand. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's put it in the bottom of our springform pan. You could add some butter to the bottom of your pan if you'd like. I'm not gonna worry about it. I haven't had any problems with my crust sticking to the bottom where I couldn't get it out. If you feel more comfortable putting butter or if you'd like to put some parchment paper on the bottom of your pan, you're welcome to do that as well. I'm just gonna put it in the bottom. And gently pack it down. Sometimes I find it's just as easy to use your hands for some of this stuff. So there's my crust all packed down. I'm just gonna throw this in the freezer for a few minutes to chill up while we start the next step. So our next step is to get the peanut butter filling. And for that, we're going to take one and a half cups of peanut butter. I'm using smooth. Eight tablespoons of soft butter and one cup of powdered sugar. And we're gonna give that a mix. You wanna start slow with this. You don't want powdered sugar all over your kitchen. If you find your icing sugar has some lumps, you can always run it through a sieve before you add it. I'm just gonna give my bowl a little bit of a scrape down. We'll give it a final mix and then we'll be done. So there's our filling. Let's add it to our crust. So I've got the pie crust out of the freezer. Let's add the peanut butter mixture to it. You wanna be careful that you don't mix up too much of the crust and put it into your peanut butter mixture. Okay, so there's our peanut butter mixture on our crust. We'll put that back in the freezer while we work on the last part of our pie. Okay, so I've got the induction cooker out, so it's a little bit loud here, but before I go any further, I just want to invite you to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. We upload every Friday. And comment down below, did you like the video? Or better yet, what else would you like to see us make? So our last step is the chocolate ganache topping. So in our cook pot, we're going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter, a cup of heavy whipping cream, and a cup of chocolate chips. Today, I'm going to be using some dark chocolate. I had little wafers like this that I've broken up. I like the flavor of the dark chocolate better than the chocolate chips. The milk chocolate is just a little too sweet for us. So I've got a cup of dark chocolate that I've broken up. So let's add that to our pot. So we wanna bring this to a, a rolling boil and we want everything to melt nicely. So you wanna constantly be stirring it. You don't want it to burn to the bottom of the pot. Once you see your chocolate starting to bubble a little bit, you're gonna whisk it till it's nice and smooth. I've turned my cooktop down a little bit. I think I had it going a little too high. At this stage, you wanna be constantly whisking because it's very easy to burn your chocolate. Once your mixture is nice and smooth, you can take it off the, the heat and it can be added to the rest of your pie. I'm just about there. Now we're just gonna pour the chocolate over top of the pie. The pie needs to now go in the freezer for about an hour. It just needs to chill up a little bit and then we'll be back to cut it and try it. And just like that, it's chilled and ready to eat. Okay, it's only been a couple of seconds for you, but for us, it's been a couple of hours. The pie has been chilled in the freezer and it's ready to try. 
So I've cut myself a nice piece. As you can see, you can see the layer of the cookie crumb, the peanut butter mixture, and then on top the chocolate mixture. So let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Soft, smooth, creamy. Mmm. It's so good. The bottom layer with the chocolate cookie crumb is really good. You can actually taste the icing in there with the butter and the cookies. Oh, and that peanut butter mixture with the chocolate on top, just fantastic. Makes a perfect, nice dessert. This is a fantastic pie, and it makes a great dessert for Thanksgiving. So that should do it for this video. Thanks again for watching, and we do hope that you come back to watch another video. And don't forget, first we cook, then we eat.